Welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream and here we are doing another repair job and as you can see, I don't know if you can see in this area where we're at, but we're actually in between our kitchen and dining room area. Um, since we don't have a shop, this becomes kind of our shop and uh, I'm just happy my wife is very gracious about what I do here. This is our snowblower. It's a Craftsman 28 inch. I'll actually put the model number down below in the description. But what happened to it is the engine's running fine, everything's running fine, except for the auger shaft broke in half. And it's very odd to me that something like that would happen because you're supposed to have shear pins that will shear or separate before the auger gets twisted or, or broken. Um, it did not happen in this case. And so I went to buy a new auger shaft and I realized that my part was replaced by Sears. So chances are there could have been something wrong with that shaft or how it was made and they fixed it by creating a new part for it. Uh, anyway, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if you go down. So down here, this is the, the auger shaft right here. Okay? And it holds your augers in, and this should basically not spin at all. But if you look over here, it's spinning freely. Um, that's where it's broken. So it's broken actually right on the shear pin down here. Uh, when I remove this, I'm going to actually have to take off these bolts here for this collar that holds the shaft. There's another set on the other side that I'm going to have to take off. I'm going to actually have to take the chute off, the cover for the belts, and then two, uh, one, two, three, uh, four more bolts to actually separate the entire front of the snowblower from the motor and the wheel mount back here. Um, I've never done this before. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a small engine repair guy, I'm just a guy that reads manual, looks online, tries to figure out how, how, how to do it, and then I go do it. Um, many of you are probably here because you're doing the same thing. You're researching your snowblower problem and uh, you're looking through videos and finding what you need. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. I know it will be helpful to me if I ever have this problem again to just re uh, reference this video. You need something placed behind the actual snowblower because once you take all this weight off the front, this thing is going to go and crash back. And so what it is, I put a towel here just to protect this uh, dresser, and it's going to just kind of uh, slide onto the dresser, and I'll be uh, prepared to be safe there. This is the first bolt. It's a half inch. I'm pulling this off right here like this, and basically it's a carriage bolt, so it keeps it from moving freely in there. So I'm going to put that together. As soon as I remove that, I got three eighths in here. Look at that. So the next bolt is here. Now I got the shoot off. That was actually relatively easy. One bolt for that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the belt cover. And that is, it looks like two bolts. Both 3 8 inch. One here. And one back over here. So let's see how that goes. There we go. So only two bolts are actually holding the belt cover on. And what I need to do is take this belt here, okay, and it is a little bit loose, but it's designed that way. It looks like there's only four bolts holding the, um, the auger system to the motor mount and the actual snow blower here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these two right here, and it's a half inch. And what I got is a extra long extension here so that I can actually get around these wheels right here, which makes it a whole lot easier to get at. Here's 
Here are the other two bolts here on this side, exactly in the same spot. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's starting to come apart. You can actually see it here. But something's hanging it up, and I think it's a spring right here. And this spring actually controls this brake element. So if I squeeze it this way, and I take my pliers and just kind of squeeze it and try and get it out. Look, the pliers are actually overkill. I can just about, ah, just with my hands alone, I got it. So that would be the control to allow the auger to run. So I'm gonna just set that off to the side and see if I can get this completely off like that. Wow, that was uh, nice. Huh. So that's how you separate it. Easy. Well, at least easier than I thought it would be. All right, so let me flip it on its front like this. And I need to take the belt off. Can you see that belt? Look at the cracks in that belt. That is not good. Look at that, that thing is on its last leg. So at this point, hmm, I think I almost wanna order another belt and not assemble this thing and do that. If I do put it back on, I'm going to have to replace this belt eventually and take it all apart again. Hmm. We're in a storm right now. The belt could hold for one more storm. And then it's going to have to be changed. I could risk it. But then I'm going to have to pull it apart again. We're going to probably take this apart, continue with our progress, see if we run into any other snags. And then I'm going to debate that while I'm working on it. So what I'm going to have to do now, as you can see here, this can come off. So I'm going to have to probably pull this off so that I can get that belt. And it looks like it's just kind of sandwiched here. So once I loosen that, it should go pretty easily. Put a piece of wood inside here so that it just won't spin around. You can lock it in place and then get a good grip on it. That is a tight one. This is a half inch. pieces off. Now this piece. Nice. And that piece. All done. So put that back in play. And I'm going to go ahead and set this just like that. So I remember the order. And set that off to the side somewhere. Okay now at this point it's not ready to set free because I still have to undo, as you can see on the side, I still have to undo these two bolts here. Okay. And there are two more on the other side. Once I do that, it should slip right out. So either you'll hear a bang or I'll have to hammer it if it's stuck um, with a piece of wood and pop it down like that. Okay, so I think we're on almost the home stretch here. Now I flipped it up like this, and the reason why is because I wanted to see exactly what's going on in here, and if it does fall, I can get the parts I need in the right order again. So I just want to see what it looks like. And there's the four bolts, and it should come out now. Maybe. <laughs> and I even have to hammer it. That is nice. And there, that's the auger assembly. 
And would you like to see the problem? That is the problem. See, there's a shear pin that goes right here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a shear pin that goes right alongside that. And what happens, the shear pin, when it gets bound up, it's supposed to break the shear pin. But in this case, the shear pin was stronger than the actual metal here on this auger shaft. And so the auger sheared before the shear pin. And that's the situation. Now I gotta make sure I keep everything in the correct order. So when I put it, the new auger shaft in, it works just fine. Is that crazy or what? Just remember the order. Okay. This is a shear pin, and as you can see, this one is about to break. It's bending. Shaft. Okay, so there it is in its entirety. There's the broken piece. I believe this is 3 8 inch right here. So I gotta pull these bolts off, 3 8 inch, pop this off, and then take it apart and put the new shaft in. Okay, so I got the gearbox off here, and when this thing split, it kind of split out and made it rough. So I'm trying to make it um, smooth so I can get it, the gearbox off of it. See if that does it. It's close. Real close. Uh oh, here we go. There we go. Right off. And that wouldn't happen before. Okay, so now... This gear here is the main drive gear that turns the entire shaft, the augers. So I gotta get this off. What I'm doing is I'm taking these washers off. And that, that little key is what holds it onto the shaft, the gear onto the shaft. Now that won't work. Let's set that off in a safe spot right there. So I'm going to get this off. There's the other washer. That also holds that key in place. And there's the broken shaft. All said and done. So now I gotta get the new one, put it all together. So there we go. Mm -hmm.